Welcome to Love and Life's Journey DIY. I'm Chantelle. Thank you so much for being here. Today I am going to show you how to DIY a Christmas ornament organizer that is going to save you tons of space and it's extremely budget friendly. I don't know about you, but I have always stored my ornaments in the original packages and this just takes up so much room and honestly when it's time to decorate the tree it takes forever to take the ornaments out of the boxes and it takes even longer to put them back in the boxes when it's time to take down the tree and I just decided this year I was done with that. Uh, I had seen a video from one of my favorite YouTubers, Cass from Clutterbug, and I will link her channel below because if you don't follow her, you really should. She has amazing organizing tips. She's so practical. She's really fun, easy to relate to. I just uh, really enjoy her channel, so I will link that below. And she was talking about how she doesn't store her ornaments in the original boxes and she uses an organizing tote that's for ornaments. So I decided I was going to get me one of those and that's what I was going to do. But when I tried to find an ornament organizing tote um, for what I wanted, I couldn't find it. I wanted one that was hard plastic, so it was sturdy. I wanted one that had trays that you could lift in and out and all I could find were fabric totes that had trays or plastic totes that didn't have trays, they just had cardboard dividers and you would have to empty all of the ornaments off of one layer before you could even get to the next layer. So I didn't like that. So I just decided to come up with my own DIY, my own ornament storage tote. And so today I'm going to show you how I did that. So currently my ornaments are in three large totes and I am going to combine them into just this one single tote using these 24 compartment drawer organizers that I picked up at Walmart. These come in a two pack for just $4.87. So the package said that each of these are 12 by 12 inches so I did verify that and I'm going to cut a piece of foam core board 12 inches by 24 inches and I actually did make it just a tad bit longer about 24 and a quarter inches just to give me a little extra wiggle room and I will be cutting two pieces of foam core board this size uh, the 12 by 24 and a quarter uh, so that I can make two trays using these uh, 24 compartment drawer organizers. So before I start gluing these down to the foam board, I'm just making sure that they are going to fit like I had planned and uh, this is perfect. And so I'm using some Gorilla Glue sticks in my hot glue gun and I'm going to be pretty generous with the glue and just glue this down all the way around, making sure that I hold the uh, drawer organizer uh, straight because the sides want to bend in because they're foldable so uh, I just hold them straight until the glue sets up. Then I'm going to add the second drawer organizer in the exact same way and I will add also a little hot glue in between the two um, along the sides on the top edge just to make sure that they are stuck together well and that everything is secure. So now I have a tray that I can store 48 ornaments in and I decided to add some little jute twine handles to my trays. I did just hot glue these on because the trays aren't that heavy. Uh, you could uh, actually punch through the cardboard in the organizers and tie your twine to the sides if you're worried about the, the twine handles coming off by just gluing them, but I felt like they were pretty secure. So I'm going to take out my ornaments out of the boxes and start putting them in the dividers. And I did have some that had some little notes that came with them that I did want to keep. So I just put those in the little 
a compartment with the ornament and just with this very few amount of ornaments look how much packaging I was able to get rid of I think this is amazing and I've just gotten started okay I know what you're thinking you're wondering what about those larger size ornaments well I do have a solution for those as well the material that these drawer organizers is made out of is very easy to cut with a pair of scissors and so you can cut out sections from uh, the inside of the organizer and make larger compartments this was so easy and it worked great And this does not have to be done before you glue them to your foam board so if you glue them down and later on you decide you want to make more larger compartments you can certainly do that so I made two trays using these drawer organizers and now I'm going to make a third tray using this set of drawer organizers this I also got at Walmart it was 687 I believe there are six trays and these are a little bit shorter and they're individual um, but this actually worked perfect for my tote because I was not able to do three trays of the other drawer organizers because it was too tall so doing two trays of those and this tray of the shorter organizers is perfect and it fits in my tote exactly these trays had little cardboard flaps that you were supposed to push down into the bottom but they didn't really want to stay very well so I just uh, added a little bit of hot glue and secured them down so that they would stay put the dimensions of these once I laid them out on the foam core board was still 12 inches but I did have to add a couple of inches uh, to the length uh, to be able to fit all of them on but that still fit inside my tote and so my foam board was 12 by 26 inches uh, for this one and then I just used my hot glue and glued these to the foam board just like I did the others By using these larger drawer organizers, this gives plenty of room for some of those odd sized ornaments or miscellaneous things that you might have. And so I think this is a great addition to my organizing tote. And I will be adding the jute twine handles to this tray as well. So here are two of my totes completely empty. The third tote has boxes from ornaments that are actually my daughter's and I didn't want to get rid of her things. So um, those uh, will wait and let her decide on. But I took all of these ornaments out of the packaging and put them in my organizing trays and look at all of these boxes and packages that I can get rid of. I did find some things that I could donate so I can get rid of those because I don't use them anymore and I did have a few larger items that need to be stored in a different place but look at all of my ornaments in these trays I got so many ornaments in here and I still have room for more I'm so excited about this I should have done this years ago now I can see all of my ornaments I can lift the trays out and I it's just so much easier to access them it will be faster to decorate the tree and faster to put the ornaments away after Christmas and so I am super thrilled with this so the total cost for everything including the tote was $26 I did get my tote last year after Christmas at Costco these are the best totes it was $5.99 on sale I can guarantee they are going to cost more this year because unfortunately everything costs more this year but this is still a very budget-friendly option for storing all of your Christmas ornaments 
I do want to mention that when you are making this, depending on the tote that you are using, it is best if your trays go all the way up to the top so that your lid goes on and covers that top tray uh, right across the top. And this is going to keep things from moving around. So even if the tote is tipped, things are going to stay in place. If your trays don't go quite all the way to the top and there is a little bit of room in there, this would be a perfect place to store your tree skirt or even maybe a Christmas throw that you're going to store and just put out at the same time you'll be putting out your Christmas items. So um, just something to keep in mind because you want your uh, ornaments to be all secure and not uh, rattle around if the tote should get tipped. And you can see that I did have some room on the side of my trays and I think that that is actually beneficial because I did have some larger things that I could store in there as well and it just keeps everything nice and tight in the box and uh, I can store so much in this. I hope you enjoyed this DIY ornament storage tote and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up it really helps my channel if you haven't subscribed yet be sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell and set your notifications so that YouTube will notify you every time I upload a new video thank you so much for watching I hope you all have a blessed day Music